All right. One more uh, clip. This is, um, I don't know. Do you remember back during the um, 2016 Republican primary where John Kasich met with these Hasidic Jews and said, did you guys ever hear the story of Joseph? And started telling them the story of Joseph. And they're all just looking there like, mm-hmm. we, that's mm-hmm. all we do is read the Bible. Yeah, we, we literally we we live day. in Borough Park. We argue a little bit about that spent every hour. A, a full year of our lives discussing that very story, <laughs> actually. Uh, and every commentary that's ever been written about it over the course of maybe two to 3,000 years. And Case was like, well, then let me give you my perspective. He, he was also is. on the view. I just got to say real quick. He was also on the view with two chains and he starts basically telling him what it must have been like to work with Kanye as a producer. So okay. case ex- well, <laughs> there's a pattern here. <laughs> Charlie Kirk is looking to challenge John Kasich oh, oh, on the oh, I know better than you title. Well, it's Here exciting. It is. Just as arrogant and twice as stupid. Charlie Kirk. And this is the way that they uh, he put out his turning points video. Charlie Kirk destroys radical leftist rabbi. <laughs> Whereby everyone gets an education regardless of their ability to pay. That's a socialist concept. And it's what makes our country great. Every person in the United States should be educated regardless of their ability to pay. Well, so that's not happening under this current model. It's not happening right now. Correct. Do you think that a Jewish day school does a better job of educating an individual than a public school? I don't believe in orthodoxy. They brainwash their kids, so I don't like Jewish day schools. But you don't, okay, so do you believe a parochial school or a private school will do a better job at educating an individual than a traditional public school? No, because they're brainwashing their kids. But here's my question. My question Brainwashing is this. their kids. My You're a rabbi. Question. My question is, have you... They're brainwashing them the Torah? Have you, have you ever heard of reform or reconstructionist Judaism? We don't take the Torah literally, but this is my question. Wait, do you? No, 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 you, you absolutely take the Torah literally. I it's literally the Torah. I absolutely. Moses was given them for a reason. I absolutely do not. And you don't know anything about Judaism. If you I don't know anything about Judaism. No, you don't. Well, I, I'm an evangelical Christian. I bet you know right. slightly more in your particular I blend. More. Of I know re- a lot more because it's my religion. You don't have the right to tell me what. No, I do have a right because it's America. Because I say whatever the damn I want. You, oh. Muscle. Secondly, I, secondly, I, don't act for a second that I have a different book than you. You know what? Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy is in my Bible just as in yours. So don't act like I read a different book. You know what? <laughs> and finally, finally, I would say it is underneath the moral stature of a rabbi to tell someone like me that I don't have a right to criticize you. But I continue. Will you, I will tell you that Jewish people have had Christians tell Jews what their religion means for a long time. We do not need Christians to tell Jews what Judaism is all about. I I will say this. You will find no better or bigger defender of the state of Israel, the Jewish people, than me. No one. Period. Bar none. And my friend, the Pope of the Jews... They thought this was ben a clip. Shapiro has told me that you're not a Jew, sir. I mean, I, you know, the rabbi uh, got a little bit sidetracked there uh, by by uh, Charlie Kirk. And I guess the argument was about uh, the idea for public education. Charlie Kirk, of course, wants it all to be um, government funds that fund a, a religious uh, um, education. Uh, he would be very happy to have little uh, Christian madrasas. Right. all across the country. And if we've got to throw a couple to the Jews, uh, as long as Ben Shapiro gets him to be in charge of them, then uh, that's okay. But um, the idea that he doesn't understand what the, what it means to say, I don't take the Torah literally. I don't think what the rabbi was saying is that the Torah doesn't literally exist. I think he's saying that the Torah is a series of stories and aphorisms that one is supposed to derive broad moral principles from, but not actually happening. In other words, the sea didn't actually part, that you shouldn't throw stones at women when they have their monthly. Like things like that, I think is what the rabbi probably meant. No, he meant the Torah literally doesn't exist. It's a new reconstructionist position. I just want to say, I I will, I don't want to critic. I mean, look, Charlie Kirk is, is, 
embarrassing, even down to the point where at one point I felt like he was trying to do some type of Seinfeld inflection, like the Torah literally exists. And, you know, it's just pathetic, but, and, and I'm not, this isn't a criticism, but like, just don't give these guys the satisfaction of getting upset. They're idiots. Like I listened the, the other day, uh, there was some thing with taking us back to 2014 with Gavin McGinnis, where he was doing some AMA and, uh, and on, on Twitch or something. And Ben Burgess, basically, you know, he went in and didn't, you know, call him out, you know, he didn't call him an asshole or all these things. He just said like, yeah, you said you're a libertarian. You think that's going to work during the shutdown? And Gavin just starts going all over the place. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Uh, and, and basically very quickly, McGinnis just freaked out and got upset at Burgess because he didn't have an answer for how you reconcile no government with a quarantine. You know, it's, it's a basic Sam Cedar libertarian debate. Wait, thing. This was I'm, in 2014. No, I'm saying that talking about Gavin McGinnis feels like it's 2014. This was oh. a couple of days ago. Oh, I see. I see. Um, but the, but yeah, I'm just saying like the, the rabbi got pissed, but you don't need to get angry at Charlie Kirk. He's just a, he's just a, he's a fool. Uh, it's it's true, but he does. There is no greater defender of Israel. No greater defender. You know, I, these guys are at some point. I point that. they're going to have to figure it out, though, because I've heard so many people say that there's no greater defender of Israel. At some point, they're going to need to sort that out amongst themselves. Oh, that's easy. I, we put them into a like a like a Roman Colosseum. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, we throw a sword in the middle of the uh, the Colosseum, and then we just say begin. And they fight it out. And that's the way that we determine there's no great. Bunch of Jews doing like the, the Caesar, just like, ah, no, you're actually not the greatest defender of Israel. All right. So, folks.